when you guys going about your day, right? I am smart. I am strong. I am confident. Talk about it. Right? It's all mental. It's the mindset. Former cornerback Delvin Bro didn't hear these positive words growing up in New Orleans. I tried to commit suicide at nine years old just due to a lot of trauma, physical uh, abuse that were going on behind closed doors. And I didn't have no outlet. I didn't know who to go. I didn't know who to talk to. And I just bottled everything in. Despite his ongoing battle with depression, Delvin still secured a full ride scholarship to Louisiana State University. But just two days after his 17th birthday, Delvin broke his neck on the field. LSU honoring his scholarship, but even with surgery and rehab, he was never medically cleared to play again. Me breaking my neck, you know, it was a trying time because football was my life, football was my passion, and to have that injury happen to me and it was taken away, you know, it was just was devastating. So I went back into uh, another depressive state. But he never quit, eventually becoming a Canadian Football League All-Star and later hitting the gridiron for his home team, the New Orleans Saints, yeah, making an impact lines, on his community. We're going to make it happen. Delvin is such kind of an important figure in the community because he's from here. He's overcome a lot of adversities, kind of like a hometown dream when it comes to football. So to be able to introduce my kids to someone like that and say, hey, he's from here. We're all from here. You have opportunities. Now Delvin is helping break mental health stigmas for black men. I have a counselor. We talk like twice a week and give me an opportunity to be myself, open up, share my thoughts, right? If I'm going through a depressive state, she's there for me. And he's giving back, offering children the affirmation he never received, organizing the first annual football and mental health awareness camp. Kids ages 5 to 18 learning to ask for help when things get tough. Learning new stuff that I never heard of, working on stuff that I need to work on, or getting other voices other than my coaches and my dad. On the count of three, I will never give up. One, two, three.